Welcome to this Tutor to You topic video that focuses on the impacts of water insecurity. This is part of Paper 2, Unit C, The Challenge of Resource Management. Water insecurity is a lack of a reliable source of water of appropriate quality and quantity to meet the needs of the local population. It has many impacts. The first one that we're going to have a look at is waterborne diseases. There are many reasons that water becomes contaminated, including raw sewage dumped into waterways, agricultural runoff from chemical fertilisers and pesticides, and toxic chemicals from industry that haven't been disposed of properly. Water contaminated with chemicals and bacteria is unsafe for human consumption, increasing the risk of waterborne diseases such as cholera and typhoid. In LICs, many people still have to use heavily polluted rivers for their water needs, and as a result, many die premature deaths linked to a lack of access to safe drinking water. Our next impact of water security is industrial output. Water insecurity has an impact on industrial output. This is because many manufacturing industries are thirsty and use lots of water in the production of goods, like steel, textiles, and in industrial chemicals. Water is also important in energy production, especially in the generation of hydroelectric power, but also as part of the cooling process in coal, gas, and nuclear power stations. If there is less water available to these industries, they may not function as normal. And if a company has to pay for more for water because there's less of it, they may charge more for their products, which obviously gets passed on to consumers. Water insecurity also has an impact on food production. This is because farming across the world uses more than two thirds of global water supply. So in areas prone to unreliable rainfall and drought events, farmers will struggle to make a living or provide enough food for their families as a lack of water for irrigation means that their crops won't grow properly and yields will be lower. It also has an impact on the quality of meat produced if livestock doesn't have enough water to drink. Our last impact of water insecurity is conflict. With so many regions around the world suffering from water stress, water is a hugely valuable commodity and many feel that in the future, as even more pressure is exerted on supplies, there is a potential for water wars to break out. There are already several areas around the world where conflict is occurring because of shared water resources. For example, along the Mekong River in Southeast Asia, where China has built dams to reduce the risk of flooding and to generate hydroelectric power. This has had an impact further downstream as a reduced water level has affected farming and fishing industries in Vietnam and Cambodia. You can see a photograph of this on the screen. But there are numerous other areas at risk of conflict over water. Let's have a quick look at some of them. Firstly, we have India and Bangladesh. The River Ganges is one of the world's largest rivers and flows through northern India into Bangladesh and into the Bay of Bengal, which is part of the Indian Ocean. Barriers have been built by India to control the flow of water and reduce the risk of flooding. But this has affected water supply in Bangladesh, which has got one of the world's highest population densities and has a very high demand for water, particularly for agriculture. We've then got the area of Turkey, Syria and Iraq. These countries are competing for water from the Tigris and the Euphrates rivers, which are a vital resource, particularly as Syria and Iraq both have really low rainfall. However, Turkey has built a series of dams along both rivers, affecting the water supply further downstream in Syria, meaning there is less water available for agriculture and domestic use. In the same region, we've got Israel, Jordan, Syria and Lebanon. These countries all experience water insecurity and they compete for water from the River Jordan, which provides a border between Israel and Jordan. Israel extracts large quantities of water from the Sea of Galilee, which is a big lake, which the River Jordan flows through, reducing the water supplies for Syria and Lebanon downstream. The lack of water in this area means that Israel has to buy water from Turkey. And the final area that we're going to consider is the Nile region. The Nile is the world's longest river and it flows through seven countries before it reaches Egypt. In the past, the Egyptian government has stipulated that the other countries cannot do anything to affect the flow of the water coming into the country, such as building dams to control the flow of water. 
This has angered several of the other countries who feel this is very unfair as they can't maximise the water supply flowing through their country, particularly as Egypt has actually built the huge Aswan High Dam, which is pictured on the screen, in the early 20th century and has since been expanded. More recently, other countries along the Nile have constructed their own dams to control flooding and generate hydroelectric power. But, of course, this has caused tensions with Egypt. That concludes this Tutor to You topic video looking at the impacts of water insecurity. Thank you for watching.